What's up guys, welcome to the garage. Today we've got a couple of little 124 scale crawlers. These are slightly different to these like RGT uh, FTX style crawlers. These are more scale with the ladder chassis, etc. These have got more of a, um, a specific crawler looking chassis with four wheel steer. Both of them are the same. So both have got um, four wheel steer. And this is the HBX Devastator, and this is the WL Toys 24438B. You might not have seen many of these around, and this was really hard to get hold of. There's links for both of them in the description. I think this is currently out of stock um, on Banggood. Word of warning as well, before we have a look further at these things. If you look at these on AliExpress, there's two versions. This is the B version that has a servo front and rear so it's four wheel steer with four modes of steering um, there's another version a cheaper version that only has the front servo and i think the metal links that are on this are plastic now on aliexpress every seller i looked at that listed this as the 24438b when you look at the reviews of it and um, what the people were sent that bought them were the um, non four wheel steer version so just be aware, if you're looking for one of these, check the reviews on AliExpress because you might get the wrong thing sent to you. Anyway, we'll talk about this one first. So this is the WL Toys. Comes with the standard WL Toys controller. And if you're familiar with WL Toys stuff, they all come with this. It's got a little mode button there. Now that mode button, I think, is pretty much just for this truck. It does nothing, or I don't believe it does anything on any of the other WL toys I've ever had. Whereas on this one, it's for the four modes of steering. Front wheel steer, rear wheel steer, standard four wheel steering, or you get that crab effect four wheel steering as well. So that's what the mode button does on that. It's fully proportional. It's cheaper than the HBX. Not by a lot, but it is cheaper. Depending on where you get it from. And underneath, you get this little, tiny little um, one cell, so 3.7 volt, 150 milliamp hour LiPo. Very small. And then you've got an all-in-one um, speed controller and stuff there, speed controller, receiver. And then the two servos, the good thing about this is they're three wire servos, so you can always upgrade these um, to more powerful ones, although it doesn't really need it because it's a nice little light thing. And um, so you've got all that incorporated on there, and then front and rear, front and rear um axle with steering on both sides, friction dampers, a tiny little motor in there. Can't see what size it is, but um, a tiny little motor in there and um, plastic drive shafts not much more to say about it the tires I actually feel like they might have some foams in not the softest of things but overall it's not a bad little truck so that's the WR toys if you want to know more about it or if you want to look at the specifics of it there is a link for it in the description but remember look for the B version because that's the four wheel steer one and then we've got the HBX Devastator. I really like this as well. Nice, heavy, feels like really good quality. Um, I really like the look of the wheels as well. Tires, again, they're not all that soft, but this is 124th and this is 124th, but considerable size difference um, between the two. So I'd say this is more 124th than this, but who knows? Anyway, again, front and rear, um, Solid axle, plastic drive shafts, again, metal links, metal shaft. It's got a bigger motor in it, it's just generally uh, that bigger size over it. Something this has got that the WO Toys hasn't is the, um, the multi-links, because they go up into the center there, it gives it a bit of stability. This one, because of the length of them all, and they all kind of just go, they're all the same length and they're all quite wide on the axle. See, it moves about quite a bit. It's not a bad thing, because it's a crawler at the end of the day, it's got a flex, but this is just feels a bit more solid. Again, friction dampers. Uh, I've mentioned the bigger motor. Uh, overall, 
similar servo front and rear. These are five wire servos on this one though, not three wire, so not quite as easy to upgrade. Under the body, you've got a combined ESC and receiver again. Now this one is 7.4 volts, so it's got a little bit more power, and that is evident when you see the little trail I've done with them um, in a minute. I'll talk you through that as we go through it. Um, but that is how this one looks with the body off. Pretty similar in terms of electronics, combined ESC receiver, front and rear servo, and a little crawler motor in there. Bigger motor, 7.4 volts, um, small motor with that little one cell. I don't know whether this would take two cell, but it does need a little bit more wheel speed um, to get over some of the obstacles. Anyway, I shall walk you through the course I've done with them now, and we're starting with the Devastator. So we started with this one, and it's because I made the course and tried it with this, knowing that this is probably um, side by side on paper, this is the better one, with the WO Toys being the underdog. So I thought if I'd done a course that the Devastator could just about get past, um, it means that we could see if that WO Toys was uh, comparable to it or a big failure. Anyway, did um, did well on this course. Lots of grip on this carpet, um, but it it is on its limits, as you can see. Um, the advantages of this one over the WL Toys is the extra power, because it's a 2S rather than a 1S. It's a little bit heavier, so it gives it a bit more grip um, over the surfaces. However, you'll see in a minute that that extra weight is a disadvantage when it comes to uh, the Rainbow Road. That extra weight... It took, I mean, I've edited this quite a lot. It took me ages to get over here. Every time I got halfway over or just started getting up, it would fall off, it would knock bits over. It would get stuck. Um, so it did take me a long time uh, to get over this obstacle. But that's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be um, too easy. So I have edited this out and you'll see in a minute that we do get over in the end. However, it is a little bit difficult I mean this bit, I think I think this was probably about the fourth or fifth time I tried and it just kept falling off. So as you can see, it did get over the road eventually, and then we messed up a little bit here, so we had to go and do a bit of a loop to get over the two Porsches. Get over them no problem once we get a good um, angle on them and then over the welly boots again getting the right angle on there was key to just cruising over them and then I was testing its climbing ability as in its angle I didn't measure the angle of this but uh, this Hot Wheels track I positioned it so the Devastator was just able to get up it and then again like I said just a minute ago that gives that WL Toys it gives us a kind of a base to see how well the WL Toys does against this I think if I'd done it the other way around, the WR Toys, um, building the track for the WR Toys, I think this probably would have got around it a little bit easier. But anyway, let's have a look now. So the first thing you'll notice about this, a lot slower wheel speed, and that's because of that um, half the uh, voltage on the battery, the 1S. But it's still got traction, it's still able to climb, it's just a little bit slower. On this bit it did topple, it did have to... Did have to get the angle a little bit better, but it got up there. But that is full throttle trying to get up there, so you can see it's a lot slower. But it's got the grip, so it was fine. Just took a little bit of um, a change in the driving style for this, a bit smoother to get it over the obstacles. Now, the advantage of the light weight of this thing, this was first attempt. Devastator took probably eight or nine goes, got this thing over at first go. One, due to how light it was, and two... It's a little bit smaller as you've seen, so being smaller it was able to uh, get a little bit of a better purchase 
on them obstacles to get over. Uh, failed at this bit as well, the same as the Devastator. Um, but again, once it was up, once we reset it, it did get over them okay. Again, that slower wheel speed just hampering it a little bit. And then onto the wellies, we did struggle here, as you'll see. Not enough ground clearance really, not enough grip and wheel speed to get over. A good few attempts. I've cut this scene down a bit, um, so you don't get bored, but I did try for quite some time to get over. So we had to call the, uh, the HBX in to give this little thing a hand to get over. Straight over, straight in, have some of that. And then helped it over. And then as you'll see, the HBX was straight over, no problems at all. And then this is the last bit. I haven't changed the angle of this. All I changed was the width so that the width, because it's a slightly smaller track on this one. I just cut the width down a bit on these tracks, but they're the same angle. Took a few attempts. And I'll leave it there for you just to watch the end of this. And then we'll go back for a summary on both of them. Come on, WL Toys. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you're nearly there. Yeah. So there you go, two little 124 scale micro crawlers. I like both of them. If I had to choose, I mean, this one is cheaper and depending on where you can find it, if you can get any discount codes and that, you can get that not quite half the price of that. I think off the top of my head, I think it's about $55. This was 70 or 80, I think, but anyway, um, check the link below if you want to have a look at either of them. But if I had to choose between the two, this is definitely more capable, a little bit more power. And I just think it looks nice as well. These wheels are really nice on it. Not saying this is bad, though. I mean, it is capable. It's slower. It's definitely a slower crawler. But they both have really good control. They're both geared very low. Um, so they can crawl at a stupidly slow speed. Um, but out of the two... This one, HBX Devastator, definitely the better one. So I hope you enjoyed that. HBX Devastator, my choice, but this thing is also an option and it is smaller depending on what you want to do. Um, this one is all right, and you could probably get 2S on this. I might try it with 2S and see how it works. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time.